Alrighty, this is my new power meter. And it goes all the way from 1 to 20. And what it's designed to do is measure the power of the vacuum cleaner. And the higher the power indicator moves up the gauge, the more power the vacuum has. It's really that simple. And the reason why I designed this power meter is because we're all familiar with Dyson and how Mr. Dyson claims his vacuums don't lose suction. Well, they don't lose suction for one reason. It's a sealed motor system. And, and really, there is no sealed vacuum motor system that loses suction unless there's a hole in the hose or a failure in the system. So when he says his vacuums don't lose suction, of course, most of, most of the consumers believe that that means that the vacuum's not going to lose any cleaning power as the container fills up. What I'm here to show you right now with the airflow meter and gauge, this measures motor efficiency, uh, where suction is a static pressure that it's measuring. Um, what this measures is how efficiently and how quickly the air moves through the vacuum system. And of course, with all the filters that the Dyson uses, to eliminate dust from going back out into the air, it has an effect on the airflow. And that's what I'm about to show you now. First, we're going to run the vacuum cleaner. Um, and all I have to do is hook it up to this intake hose. And so let's pull the Dyson out. And get this. Okay. Now, again, the higher the power, the higher the meter registers on the gauge, the more power the vacuum has. And here it is with all the filters intact. It's basically at an eight and a half is what it registers. Now what happens if we remove this filter right here? Now, of course, this is the lifetime filter uh, that's made of foam. Uh, and unfortunately, if you live in an area where there's a lot of fine dust, this clogs up very rapidly and it affects airflow. But I'm going to remove this, and we know that it pulled an eight and a half with this in. Let's see what it pulls without it. Okay, it looks like it's going to the 14. So from 8 to 14, you can see the huge difference that removing this filter does. Now, what most customers don't realize is that the Dyson also has another filter. And that filter is the HEPA filter. I'm going to remove it next, and we'll see how much it pulls. And this is the HEPA filter right here. So all the way up to the 17. So with the filters in the vacuum cleaner, it goes to eight and a half. When you remove the filter you're supposed to clean, it goes from an eight and a half all the way to 14. And then when we move, remove the HEPA filter, it goes all the way up to the 17. Now, if you ran your vacuum without these filters, of course, it'd be the equivalent of like running your vacuum, running your lawnmower without the bagging attachment. You'd be spewing dirt everywhere. So whatever you do, you don't want to run your vacuum without these filters. But I'm just showing this to point out that um, what Dyson is saying on TV in advertising, which makes things sound really impressive, the vacuum doesn't lose suction, but as you can see, it definitely loses airflow. And when we put these filters back in, the thing to remember, you have to clean this filter, and if you have to clean it, it's because as the dirt picks up on it, it, it slows down the airflow, and obviously it cuts it down because that's what the gauge is showing us. And then here we go with all the filters in again. As you can see, it's pulling again around the 7.5 to an 8.
Well, this is basically the dyno meter, and this is basically how it's designed to work. Now, on the next thing I'm going to show you is a vacuum cleaner that has a lot of airflow, but for now, I just wanted you to be aware of uh, the Dyson vacuum cleaner and how the airflow is different than just suction. Thank you for your time.